KCK woman escaping a brutal attack only to die in a violent crash as she called for help. And today we learned the man accused of raping Shannon Keithley in August is now being held responsible for her death. 41 Action News reporter Andres Gutierrez spoke with Keithley's loved ones and close friends. This was uh, a big step, I would say, to, uh, to justice. Tonight, those closest to Shannon Keithley are expressing their gratitude to the Wyandotte County District Attorney, who charged this man with the murder of the 39-year-old woman. Dana Severelli, a family friend, first met Keithley when she was 14. And Shannon's run from one side of the United States to the other with me and her sister, um, playing with animals, handling exotic animals. She was extremely kind-hearted. Um, Shannon, to my knowledge, never had an enemy. A year and a half ago, Keithley moved from St. Louis into this KCK house that belongs to her grandmother. First she said, uh, can I move in with you? I said, well, you're used to living alone. And I have a house. In the early hours of August 18th, police say Orlando Taylor broke into the home as Keithley slept. Her family says police told them Taylor raped Keithley over several hours. Around 5 a.m., she escaped her attacker and called 911. But in a cruel twist of faith, Keithley crashed her SUV into this bridge pillar blocks away. It should never, ever have happened. Instead of running away after the heinous attack, officers found the 35-year-old suspect hidden underneath the victim's deck. Initially, the DA charged Taylor with aggravated burglary and rape in the case, and now murder in the first degree. We can't bring her back. Um, we do feel that um, this was the best decision to be made um, by the district attorney's office. In KCK, Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News.